Welcome back to another episode of QEBC News. It's episode two, and we're your hosts. I'm your girl, Ella. And it's your boy, Mike. To start off the episode, we have Kiva with our small business shout out. Hey, I'm Kevin Mop, and today our small business shout out is Golf Home Grocery. He enjoys being the boss, and he loves doing his job with his family. Based on his success, he started selling ice cream, which has been very popular at Golf Home Grocery lately and has caught a lot of attention. The store has to deal with competition that it includes Dollar General, the Junction Tea, and they are both nearby. The small business hardships have caused Golf to look for new ways to get more customers. This includes helping people have more seating, so more people can sit down at one time. This can really help the customers and to enjoy their ice cream. The most popular ice cream product is the small twist with M&Ms. In the last few months, the grocery store has gained popularity due to the ice cream shop. Farmer Barkin, Sam's Club, and Walmart have helped Goff, his wife, and coworkers to stock the store. There is ice cream, milk, beverages, and many different types of food and canned goods and frozen meals at the store. One struggle that small businesses such as Golf Home Grocery have is getting out to the public. So he has a Facebook page, Instagram, and TikTok videos that make people want to watch him more. The Golf's hours are at 9 p.m. instead of 8 p.m. when home football games happen for the Nottoway Valley Thunder and you can get a lot of bargains and good deals, and all credit goes out to the images from Maryville uh, Daily Forum. Come get all the ice cream before it melts at Golf Home Grocery. Thanks, Keister. Now, over to sports. Hey, guys, it's Michael. And it's Jay. I'm Sydney. And this week, we have volleyball. Volleyball had their 275 district tournament, and they played against Mound City on October 17th and unfortunately lost. Yeah, well, football went to DCAB, and they won. What was it? Let me see. Um, 48 to 12. Big dubs. Blown out. Um, First round of districts, guess who gets a bye because we're legendary? We do! Football team, baby, let's get it! So, um, second round, the game will be at West Nottaway, and they will be playing the winner of the East Atchison versus North Andrew game. Yes. And to start out with the basketball season, junior high girls and boys travel to Rockport on October 24th to play in their first game and hopefully get a winning season. All right, that's sports. We out. Score! So, I with Jax and Gracie for junior high basketball. So, can you guys tell me how the first few weeks of practice have been going for your guys' teams? Very well. We have accomplished a lot, but we have much more to do. Um, we've been running a lot, getting in shape. Awesome. Gracie, tell me, is there anything different about this season compared to the last season, and if so, what's different? Um, kind of. We um, don't have as many girls, but that's about it. And, Jax, tell me a few of your guys' goals for the season. What are your team goals? 22-0, conference champions. How do you plan on reaching that goal? Um, do it, uh, executing in games and practices. As now eighth graders... What would it be a piece of advice that you would have wanted someone to give you as an incoming seventh grader? Never give up. Try your hardest. Try hardest. Trying hardest, cool. Back to you guys. Thanks, Sydney. Here with her sister, Savannah, right here. So what do you think was a really strong skill you had Tuesday at the volleyball game? Um, definitely our serving. Serving. Solid, solid. So what are you going to miss most about volleyball? Uh, playing year? with the senior class. You like the seniors? Yeah. I don't. So what are you looking forward to most about your senior year for volleyball? Um, playing my last season with all my friends. Okay, thanks. Back to you. So senior night last week uh, went well with a huge win, Andrew. Uh, how do you feel about that game? 
Uh, I feel it went very good. There was a couple things that we need to work on, though, I feel like. But overall, it was a very good game. Sick. Um, did you perform well, particularly yourself? Uh, I feel like I did, but that's up to other people to decide, not me. I mean, you can have a you can have a an opinion here on your on your uh, how you played and stuff. So, do you feel like you did really well? What things do you feel like you did well, and maybe things you need to work on? Uh, I feel like I had great hustle. Uh, I feel like I completed all my blocks, and I got out there when I needed the lead block. I agree. I agree. I got to watch it from the sideline firsthand. So. You got a two-point conversion. Do we have any specific feelings on this? Uh, were you excited? How'd your team feel? Like, did you guys get hype and everything? Or Oh, the whole sideline was cheering. I could personally hear my parents in the sideline cheering. And uh, I still have, I still relieve the moment. <laughs> <laughs> relive the moment. Uh, I feel like it was very good. I still got the excitement going. Yeah, yeah. Um, and... <laughs> As, as, <laughs> as you can tell, I'm a really big fan of you. Uh, I have your picture here. Um, I love you. I love you too. Sounds like we had a dominant week for sports. Now, over to Jay and Ella with Boys vs. Girls. How girls you picky? Okay, five loves, everybody. But oh, Mr. Mincy, this is stupid. <laughs> We go to walk instead. Thank God it's time for art class. How boys do PE class? Dude, he hit the ball. First. You're out. Hit the ball first. Tell me she's out. Yeah. Your class. Yeah, I just carry this PE class like I'm just the best. Like nobody else really tries in here, but I I show out, you know. <laughs> Boys and girls are way different. Now on to an interview with Little Mike, followed up by Logan. So, breaking news here. We got QB1 injured in South Holt game. What are your feelings on that? Uh, makes me a little sad because I have senior night and I don't get a play in it. Uh, so it's pretty sad for me. Cow a bummer. <laughs> so, you guys were in the lead to being in the game. So, what happened after that? Uh, some some guys came in that didn't really get a lot of minutes uh, so far this year, so kind of struggled to get it done. But, uh, the, I mean, they, they kept it close, and uh, we had some success, but we've got some things we need to work on, and those younger guys are going to work on that. So, Do you think you going out affected the momentum in the game? <laughs> yes. I think it affected it because uh, – I'm such a. I feel like I'm such a key player and a vocal leader that uh, kind of hurt us a little bit when we didn't have that on the field. So, uh, how long are you like going to be out for? Um, they might let me play in the decap game. Not sure yet. Guess we'll find out in a week. But uh, districts for sure going to be back. Going to be you know getting after it and being that guy again. So uh, yeah. We gonna win districts, bro. We going all the way. Yes, sir. Thank you, Michael. <laughs> What's up, guys? I'm Andrew Leitner with Upcoming Events. West Norway Honor Society welcome new members on October 24th. Congratulations to Peyton Limble, Savannah Merritt, Reagan Fast, Ava Graham, Colin Casella, Lane Larrabee, and Ben Cordell. FFA breakfast will be held on October 29th at the American Legion from 8 to 12. See you all there. Any students wanting A plus hours, go visit Miss Clayton to get those intact. Thanks, Riley Drake and Logan. Now over to the remarkable rocket. I am here with Mr. Khan. <laughs> um, what kind of events are coming up in the elementary? Well, it's almost Halloween time, so that's one of our biggest. We have Halloween parties coming up, along with uh, the communities doing a trunk or treat at two o'clock on. Uh, Halloween day so they'll come up to the track and they'll set up their trunks and we'll go around and trick-or-treat on that day so that's one of the biggest thing obviously we have parent-teacher conferences coming up as well so we're get going through that right now and then um, it's always a rush between now and the end of the year with Thanksgiving and Christmas and all that stuff so okay um who are your current 
current whoa student spotlights um just recently it's the same ones that we've did um we've had two character students of the month we've had hunter um pearson hanning um as one of the character students and then um case and major is our other so i'm actually taking them to the restaurant to eat today and then next week or at the end of next week we'll be drawing for our character students of the month from october so it'll be exciting to see who those students are okay well that is it thank you Three. thanks guys hey ella what's your guilty pleasure song i'm not sure let's ask the student body i'm aniston with your hot takes question this week Colin, what's your guilty pleasure song? I'm just Ken. Great choice. I'm just Ken anywhere. Heidi, what is your favorite song? Uh, <coughs> Boy Cha Cha. Michael, what's your guilty pleasure song? Ski. Ski, if you see me, you trying to see what's up. What's your guilty pleasure song? Mmm. Um, I'd probably have to say Bringing Sexy Back by Justin Timberlake. <laughs> Mr. Barnes, what is your guilty pleasure song? Hank Williams Jr., Country Boy Can Survive. We grow good old tomatoes and homemade wine and Country Boy Can Survive. I didn't know JT was in the building. Me neither. Now, over to the seniors with the Halloween do's and don'ts. Hey buddy, I like your costume. Thanks, I'm the queen of hearts. Trick or treat. I have a special deck of cards in my kitchen. Wanna go see? Mmm, sure, I really like cards. Okay, come on in. Bro, look, it's a piece of candy on the ground. There's no wrapper, what do you think it is? I don't know, I'll eat it anyway, so don't buy me any. What if it's laced with something? There I go. Have fun and be safe on Halloween this year. That's a wrap of episode two of the QABC News. We're your host, Mikey. And Ella. Signing, signing it off. off. Welcome back to another episode of QEBC News. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Sounds like we had a dominant week for sports. Now, over to Jay and Ella with... <laughs> Hi, today the... <laughs> no. Okay, I can see that. That's not that hard. That's this week on sports. <laughs> <laughs> and completely won. It was 48 to 12. Um. Sorry. Can I read it? <laughs> 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 it's a ball. I probably should not wear it. <laughs> no? Okay. How boys do PE class? Oh! <laughs> no, they <laughs> Got beat up. Got my face. Got beat up right there. Smacked. <laughs>